How to use Hupar Rotary Laser Level RL300 HVG. Part 1. Battery Installation and Power On Off. Battery Installation. Rotate counterclockwise as shown, and turn on the battery compartment. Install the battery, and rotate clockwise to tight the compartment. Power on off. Press the button to turn on self-leveling in default, it takes about 15 The power indicator will light. Note, when using self-leveling mode, please place this rotary laser level on a level surface dot. In self-leveling mode, the indicator and beams will blink together if the rotary laser level is placed improperly, or the slope of instrument exceeds the range, plus or minus 5 degrees. Please adjust the position or angle of the rotary laser level. The laser module will rotate at the speed of 600 RPM. Part 2. Product Overview. On-Off Button. Slope Adjustment Buttons in X Plus Axis. Manual Slope Mode Button. Manual Slope Mode Indicator. ADS Mode Indicator. ADS Button. Variable Rotation Speed Button. Slope Adjustment Buttons in X Axis. Power On Indicator. Battery Capacity Indicators. Scanning Angle Selection. Laser Window. Control Keypad. Type-C Charging Port. 5-8-11T Threaded Mount. Window for Plumb Beam. Battery Compartment. Battery Indicator. Type-C Charging Port on Battery. Remote Control. Indicator. Rotating Speed Selection. Manual Slash Slope Mode. Scanning Mode. Anti-Clockwise Spin. Clockwise Spin. Manual Slope X and Y Axis. Press the button, the laser beam will step move clockwise. Press the button the laser beam will step move counterclockwise. Part 3. Function. Spinning. Press the button to control the spinning speed of the laser module. It also can be set by the remote control. Press the button repeatedly, the spinning speed of the laser module will continuously change as follows. 0 RPM 300 RPM 600 RPM Scanning. Press the button to change the spinning speed to 0 RPM. It also can be set by the remote control. Press the button repeatedly, the angle of scanning will continuously change as follows. 0 degrees. 10 degrees. 45 degrees. 90 degrees. 180 degrees. 0 degrees. Slope adjustment. When the rotary laser level is upright for horizontal scanning, the slope of x-axis and y-axis can be set. Slope of y-axis and slope of both x and y-axis can be set by the remote control. Press the button, the rotary laser level enters the manual leveling mode. The indicator will light. Aim the x1 beam to the direction of the slope required then to adjust. It also can be set by the remote control. Press the button to move the laser beam up or down. Press the button again. The rotary laser level will exit the slope adjustment mode and will self-leveling again. The indicator will go out. ADS. After powering on, in self-leveling mode, press the button to turn on ADS mode. In ADS mode, if the tool is moved during work, it will stop rotating, and the ADS button prompt light will slow flash to remind. Note, the previously debugged data may change due to movement and need to be reset. Vertical leveling. Place the rotary laser level on the rear laydown mount on a firm level surface. The mount is located on the opposing side of the keypad. Press the button, and the unit will power on and begin automatically self-leveling vertically. This process takes around 15 seconds. When the leveling process is completed, the laser will start spinning at 600 RPM in default, indicating a vertically level datum. Note, you do not need to independently level the surface but it does need to be within plus or minus 5 degrees of true horizontal. Part 4. Accuracy Check. Note, the ambient temperature has the greatest influence. Especially temperature differences occurring from the ground upward can divert the laser beam. The deviations play a role in excess of approximate 65 feet measuring distance and can easily reach 2 to 4 times the deviation at 330 feet. Because the largest difference in temperature layers is close to the ground, the instrument should always be mounted on a tripod when measuring distances exceeding 65 feet. If possible, also set up the instrument in the center of the work area. Checking the leveling accuracy. Apart from exterior influences, device-specific influences can lead to deviations. Therefore, check the accuracy of the instrument each time before starting your work. A free measuring distance of 100 feet on a firm surface is required for the check. 
A reversal measurement must be carried out over both axes X and Y, each positive and negative, for complete measurements. Mount the instrument in the horizontal position onto a tripod or place it on a firm and level surface near wall. Switch the instrument on. Position the x-axis to aim to a wall or target plate. After the leveling, mark the center of the laser beam on wall, point H1. Rotate the instrument by 180 degrees, allow it to level in and mark the center point of the laser beam on the wall, H2. The difference D of both marked points H1 and H2 on wall is the actual deviation of the instrument for the measured axis. The value of D, deviation, should be less than a quarter inch. Repeat the measuring procedure for the y-axis. Position the y-axis to aim to a wall or target plate. After the leveling, mark the center of the laser beam on wall, point H1. Rotate the instrument by 180 degrees, allow it to level in and mark the center point of the laser beam on the wall, point H2. The difference D of both marked points H1 and H2 on wall is the actual deviation of the instrument for the measured axis. The value of D, deviation, in either axis should be less than a quarter inch. Checking the vertical alignment. Mount the instrument in the vertical position onto a tripod using mount accessory or place it on a firm and level surface near wall. Switch the instrument on. Position the up beam to aim at wall A or target plate. After the leveling, mark the center of the laser beam on wall A, point H1. Rotate the instrument by 180 degrees, without changing the height, allow it to level and mark the center point of the laser beam on wall B, point H2. Without turning the instrument, position it close to wall B by moving the tripod. After instrument levels, align the height of the instrument so that the center point of laser beam is exactly on point H2 of wall B. Rotate the instrument by 180 degrees, without changing the height, allow it to level and mark the center point of the laser beam on wall A, point H3. The mark of point H3 should be marked in such a way that it is as vertical as possible, above or below, of point H1. The difference D of both marked points H1 and H3 on wall A is the actual deviation of the instrument for the measured axis. The value of D, deviation, should be less than a quarter inch. Part 5. Included accessories and usage. Rotary laser level. Remote control. Liaison battery. Type-C charger. Target plate. Green goggles. Receiver with a clamp. Carry case. Green goggles and target plate. Enhancing the visibility of laser lines. Green goggles reduce eye pressure. Helps filter out colors of light other than laser colors found in nature. Dedicated receiver. The exterior working range can be up to 2,624 feet in diameter with a detector. Accuracy of plus or minus 1 8 inch at 100 feet. Part 6. Battery and Charging Notes. Note, during charging, the battery indicator will light up in red. When charging is complete, the battery indicator will light up in blue. The battery can be charged directly instead of being charged in the device. The laser tool is not able to work while being plugged in directly if taking out the battery. Please use the charger or adapter provided by the manufacturer. Each charge time is about 4 hours, but not more than 24 hours. Hupar, embracing your idea tool at an ideal cost.